Hey guys, it's Space is Sins, and we are back with more Charade Maniacs. My voice is broken. Hey guys! Wow. Uh, I think it's because I pace around my house venting and screaming about work. Because shit is stupid right now. <laughs> I realize, I'm like, I think that's why my voice is broken. Because I don't just sit there and think in my head. I take after my father and I talk to myself. But my dad used to just mumble to himself, I don't fuck, I don't but me i am like why and i'm like literally screaming at myself <laughs> so like i think that's why my voice is broken because i just i can't let shit go oh guys guys i hate everything right now but not this we're here and we're doing this because this is this is my happy place where i forget everything Except for work, because this is my lunch break. But this is why I'm like, no, screw that shit, I'm leaving. <laughs> like, like, anyway. Um, continuing Dazai's route. We're actually in Dazai's chapter, right? Yeah, I believe so. So anyway. I found some time in between the investigations to go visit those three again. The one on lookout today is... I peeked through the gap in the warehouse door. And I saw a Bana there, so I quickly pulled my head back. If it's a Bana there... I think he'll just yell at me and stop me from going inside. Touch him and then I'll... I was about to... That's so mean. Don't do that to the poor boy. I was about to give up and leave when I heard something from beyond the door. I stopped. I have nothing to do with you. It's got everything to do with me. So what are you going to do anyway? I'm assuming it's Gyobu. You know what I mean? Because Gyobu is hiding that he's a prior participant. But we're in Dazai's route, so you'd think it's Dazai, but, like... I don't know, so we'll figure it out. Huh? I peeked through the gap again. I saw someone I didn't expect talking with Ibana. Then I feel like it's Dazai. No, it's Gyobu. Why didn't you... Okay, I didn't expect. Why would you not expect Gyo... Okay. I expected it to be Gyobu because Gyobu was like, I'm a prior participant too, right? Like... Ibana knew, right? And then Ibana's like, yep. Dazai wasn't here, right? Nope. You know what I mean? So, like, her being like, I didn't expect Gilba to be talking to a to Ibana. Really? They were both prior participants, so I feel like that is expected. Or you'd be like, oh, yeah, makes sense. Well, anyway. Are you sure you're just gonna go back like this? Thinking of just giving up? Uh-huh. I thought you might. What are they talking about? I moved my ear closer to the door, but it creaked and both of them turned to look at me. Ugh. Whoops. The walls have ears, they say. Left without a choice, I opened the door. Sorry, I just overheard you talking. It's fine. It wasn't important anyway. We'll get your arm back for you, baby, you poor thing. Aw, oh, it's very important. You'd flip out if I told her about it. Huh? Do you want to die? <laughs> Love that bottle. He's so hostile. <sighs> there it is again. You've got such a short fuse. Um, I didn't hear everything. So why is Gyobu here? The door leading to the meadow where the three are quarantined always remained closed. I feel bad because in every... If you think about it, in every single route, Ibana never gets his arm back. Except for his. Because we reenact the drama with him, right? Because it was like a romance drama. Or whatever. And he's got a trigger on that. And we understand why. But like in every other route. We don't reenact that with him. So like. You know. Like now I feel worse. Because you're like bringing it to the forefront of my mind again. You know what I mean? Because in all the other ones. He's like a bond is back there. And you don't mention it. You know about it. Because you saw his arm in Tomose's thing. But like technically she doesn't know. In any other route really. Well, I'm, yeah, because only a couple do you see the custody list, and only in Tomose's do you see the arm, or like these ones, the last couple here where we bring it up, but because those veer off at the end, the common route. But, you know, so technically she doesn't know whatever. And so I kind of like, yeah, okay, I'm not, I'm not thinking about it in the forefront of my mind either. 
even though I'm like, God damn, I love Ivana. You know, every time he shows up, I'm not thinking that poor thing never gets his arm back. But like now all of a sudden it's a, like, fuck yeah, he never gets his arm back. Technically does I never gets the use of his eye back. But you could, I mean, just close your right eye for a while. It makes your depth perception weird, but you could function. It's hard to function with only one arm. You know what I mean? Like, what if he's left-handed? Left hand, right? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, or you're trying to, here he can do stuff because he's got a prosthetic, right? But like, I don't know why, maybe because he's like, I'm going to come back maybe to get my arm back, but then he just chickens out of doing the drama, but he knows it's a romance drama, so like, it's going to be really hard to get his arm back, you know? If he doesn't participate, and he knows that's going to be difficult for him. But he's like, I'm going to do it. And then he's like, fuck, I can't. You know, I mean, I guess. But but it's like, I guess he would have to go back home and be like, yeah, I was part of the other world stream. And like, and he'd have to get a real prosthetic. But maybe he wasn't willing to do that before trying, I guess. But it's still just, I guess I shouldn't be sad about it. Because like, hi, they have future technology where he can probably get a prosthetic arm that acts like a real one. And he can move it like he can do with this one here, you know. It's just, it still just sucks because then you got to go through all that surgery and stuff like that. Oh, oh, our poor little cupcake, our salty little cupcake. Anyway, I know he's a salty marshmallow, but he's also a little cupcake because he bakes. But anyway, <sighs> the door leading to the meadow where the three are quarantined always remained closed. But it was open then and Gyobu and Ibana were talking with each other. That alone was stranger than the conversation. Again, you know that they're both prayer participants, so it makes sense. This guy's annoying to talk to. Closing the door now. Oh, but I wanted to talk some more. You're so lacking in love. He really is, though. Don't make fun of him. Don't want it. Doesn't exist in the first place. No! Oh. <laughs> Stop it! This is Dazai's route. Why are you making me so sad for my poor little marshmallow? <gasps> Stop. He's not gonna get his arm back. And then he's like, he doesn't. I don't want love and it doesn't exist. You know? Yes, you do want it and you know it exists. It just disappeared from you and like everyone that you loved has betrayed you. Because your parents got divorced. And like, so you feel like they don't love you because you're also. I feel like your hatred of women is also. Your mother abandoned you to your dad. Like, they split you by genders. Like, you didn't even get to keep your dog. Because the dog, all the mom took all the girls. And you can live with your dad whose girlfriend assaulted you. So you're like, the person who's supposed to protect you, your parent, in this case, just, but you're, I mean, your dad didn't know, I'm assuming. But still, you know what I mean? Like, even though logically you're like, my dad didn't know that his girlfriend tried to sexually assault me. You're still not gonna, you still feel betrayed by your dad. You know what I mean? Like, this poor thing. Oh, I didn't need this today. It's going to make me cry. And I'm just like, I just want to hold him and pet him and tell him everything's going to be okay. This poor fucking thing. Ibana tried to push Gyobu back behind the door while Gyobu tried his best not to budge. You could have just not gone through this game. You could have just... You could have just left Ibana being salty in the corner and I would have been okay. But Jesus, you, you gotta hurt me. This exchange was done at the door, so it kept creaking loudly. They seemed to get along well. I do have something I want to say to Gyobu. Oh, what's that? Come on, we can talk. Come over here. Hey, stop messing around! Can I? It'll only be for a little bit. Ivana tried to force the creaking door shut, but he quickly sighed and gave up. Do what you want. I won't take responsibility for it. It's, it's okay. I'll take full responsibility. Hey, I might even take responsibility for her whole life. Uh... Shut up! I'm closing the door! Rushed by a bun, I slid behind the door and went inside. <laughs> Abana's is just so mad at everybody. The door closed behind me and Gyobu gave me a big smile. Welcome to the world of the traitors. That joke isn't funny. <laughs> Yobu walked through the meadow while laughing, so I rushed to chase after him. Where are you going? I wanted to talk. You want to talk while standing around? Never mind that. Let's play a four-player game. 
Uh, I told Abana that it'd only be for a little... Hey, are you listening, Yobu? Never. I am, I am. I'm gonna call Haiji over. You can run along and wake up May. Wake him up? It's almost noon and he's still asleep? Yeah, we got nothing to do here, so we just... So we're just lazing around. Give him a good morning kiss or something. I, I won't! I want to, but I won't, because that would be inappropriate. We're not at the stage in our relationship where I can just kiss him uninvited. There was a point when you're dating and that maybe when somebody's asleep, you can kiss them awake. That might be okay. But we're not in that point, so doing that would be assault, and we're not going to do that. We're better. We don't kiss boys who didn't ask for it, unlike Ibana's dad's girlfriend, okay? <laughs> Yobu laughed at my refusal and continued to walk. He's usually lazy and refuses to go every anywhere, but for some reason he's so quick on his feet during times like these. I wanted to talk to him a bit about finding the producer. I felt a little exasperated, but I headed into the building where the three of them lived. He really is asleep. I didn't know if he was always like that or if it, if it was just that day. But there was a TV in the middle of the room where Dazai slept. If this was my own little brother, I'd kick him awake. Maybe. He looked like such a slob. When I circled around to see his carefree face, I couldn't help but laugh. Was he just tired? His guard is completely down. Girl, don't get dirty ideas. Hey, Dazai, you have a guest. <laughs> Called out to him, but he doesn't wake up at all. That makes me smile even more. I think it's okay to poke him in this situation, like poke his arm or sh maybe shake his shoulder or something. That's okay if you're trying to wake someone up. But don't kiss him. Dazai is often emotionless and indifferent, and his expressions rarely change. It's rare to see him so vulnerable. Are we gonna are we gonna see his adorable sleeping face? No. No CG? Whatever. Hello? Are you gonna wake up or not? Oh, he reacted. I thought he'd turn over in his sleep, but then he stopped moving. <laughs> I wonder if he's still sleepy. Murmured in his sleep as if responding to me, so I had a hard time holding in my laughter. But I feel bad about waking him up if he's sleepy. I approached him and pulled up the blanket as, I was a as it was about to fall off. I considered placing it over him again. As I jumped up awake and looked at me, he looked dazed. Oh, good morning? Now he's all embarrassed because you saw him sleeping. I would be too. Come on. He became so bright red that I didn't know how to react. S sorry, I was told to come and wake you up. Huh? When were you? Hey, Kyobu! I felt like I'd thrown some fuel onto the fire and then I backed away a bit. I've only been here for a little while, so I wasn't staring at you the whole time. That implies you were staring at him part of the time. I mean, we were, but you don't have to admit it. He started to look nervous when he heard me say that I was watching him sleep. I noticed he had bedhead. I, well, I was setting up the TV yesterday. It wouldn't connect. It took me until morning. Oh, I see. So that's why he slept in front of the TV. Yeah, we ended up asking the bouncer for help and it connected immediately. Where's Kyobu? I asked you to do this weird thing and then just disappeared. He said he was getting hygiene. He wants to play a game together. Not again always like this. I stood up and looked disgusted. He turned his back to me. I'm gonna go wash my face, so go ahead and watch TV. Sure. They have a bathroom here? Good for them. I mean, they could have just asked the bouncer to make one for them, you know what I mean? <laughs> I turned on the TV by tapping on my bangle. The TV program showed famous world sites and, re and returns of old dramas. Reruns of old dramas. Why did I say returns? That R was a T to my brain. Okay. There was also a cooking show. I channel surfed until I found a fortune teller. Fortune telling in Arcadia? What is this? I've seen horoscopes before, but this particular form of fortune telling was new. No blood types, no palm readings, no birthdays. I got interested and kept watching, and Dazai returned. What are you watching? It's Arcadian style fortune telling. I didn't know this existed. Oh? Dazai sat a little distance away to watch the program. Content of the program is something else. <laughs> it says that the person with bedhead has the best luck today. Well, that doesn't make sense. I'm happy for you. Dazai, you're number one today. Huh? Where do I have bedhead? 
Right here. I reached out and pointed. As I tried to fix his bedhead, blushing. Why don't you pick a more proper fortune? That says that the one who ate a banana is second. <laughs> this fortune telling is interesting. A person reading a book has whimsical look. And the person who sneezed has the worst luck. Oh, that's always me. Oh, that explains my life. Huh? Hmm. What's wrong? I sneezed this morning. It was a big one, too. <laughs> this time it was Dazai laughing at me. Oh, you got the worst luck, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like my luck's pretty good because I got... Actually, no, my luck is pretty bad because I had to see Abana and realize how much that poor boy is suffering and just makes me so sad and I just want to hold him, but I can't. But then my luck changed because now I'm here with you, so that's good. I mean, I guess it evens out. Not for poor Abana, though. Uh, that looks like we're split cleanly down the middle. What do I do? I just sneezed and now I have the worst luck. Hey, check out the lucky item. After hearing that from Daza, I looked at the screen and saw the list of lucky items. Ice cream, a red handbook, flower from an up, from an up high. That's all fine, but what's this? It says hand. And Abana's missing a hand! You knew I was gonna do. It's no laughing matter. Why are, what are you supposed to do if your lucky item is a hand? You got two, so what's the problem? You can include what you already have? I think this is just getting a bit too lazy. And you're laughing way too much, Dazai. I need a hand, so we have to hold hands now. I complained to Dazai as he continued to laugh while turning over to me. You do seem to care a lot about these things. Well, then here. He holds out his hand to me. My hand. If we shake hands, maybe my luck will rub off on you. I'm number one after all. Well, maybe, and then it's like holding hands. I shook hands with him as he suggested. I was just following the fortune telling, but I felt embarrassed shaking hands like that. Shaking hands is no different than hand holding, except for you're moving your hand up and down instead of just holding it next to you. And it's usually right hand to right hand instead of like right to left or left or, you know what I mean? But still, still, it's very, very similar to hand holding. It's semantics. Dazai must have felt the same way. After we finished shaking hands, he quickly pulled back. I saw him retract his hand, and it reminded me of what happened the other day. Yeah, the hand-holding. All right, then. Oh, let's try that one more time. Sure, I'll try again this time. But the results were the same. We tried it numerous times, but we were too embarrassed to even touch. Maybe we should quit for now. Yeah, I don't think this should be something we force each other to do. I I'm sure we could do it naturally someday. I just hope that someday won't be during a drama. Ugh. I felt like it was natural this time around. Maybe does I remembered. Well, don't you like hor? Well, don't you like horoscopes or tarot cards more than this kind of fortune telling? Huh? Oh, just a bit. I guess I do like the fortune telling that's more normal. Huh. Have I ever talked to Dazai this much? I looked at Dazai while wondering about that, and I noticed he was just staring at the TV. But this, don't you like horoscopes or tarot cards more than this kind of fortune telling? Don't you? That's an interesting way to phrase it. I'm just saying we knew him before. That's right in my we were maybe falling in love with Dazai previously type of a thing. I know we had to have known him. If we, even if we weren't dating or romantically involved or kind of flirty or anything, we knew him. I think he w sat next to us in class. Because again, in Kyobu's route, remember, it was like, oh yeah, that seat's empty. It was Dazai's seat. He probably went to, again, I, I don't know how old Dazai is unless he's supposed to be like 20 or something. Then okay, maybe not. But like, if he's our age, then he went to school with us. We forgot him. You know what I mean? And he wants us to remember. So, like, I definitely feel like that's the thing. We knew him before. Because this is, like, maybe we had conversations. You know what I mean? Like, it's not just a regular classmate. It's, oh, oh yeah, my classmate that sits next to me. And we have conversations. And maybe we're like, yeah, no, I think he's kind of cute. And he's over there like, she's kind of cute. And, like, but we never cross that line yet. We were, oh, yeah, no, I actually remember that I kind of had a crush on you. And he's like, I had a crush on you. 
you know, sometimes when you're starting, like, oh my God, like you're, you're like, are we flirting? I think we're flirting. Am I flirting with this person? Are they flirting with me? I don't really know. And you're totally both like in that, like, are we flirting? I think we're flirting. I think they might like me, but I don't know. Yeah, I feel like they were in that bubble. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Um, But we definitely knew him. And I feel like we've had, because he didn't say like, do you like fortune telling? Like, what about tarot cards or horoscopes? Wouldn't you like that better than this? But don't you like that better than this? I mean, I guess that could be an innocuous question. Like, don't you like horoscopes better than this weird shit? Or wouldn't you like that better? Like, as in the, hey, don't you think that horoscopes would be better than this if you're into fortune telling? But I feel like in this case, it's more of a, he knows that information about us. Don't you like fortune telling? Right? I feel like we had that, you know what I mean? Like, it's that kind of. I don't know. I feel like the wording on it points me in that direction. It could just be a translation thing. It could be not that way at all. But that's how I'm reading it. Like, um, phrasing, you know? Anyway. He noticed me looking and her eyes met. The moment I thought about saying something, someone else's voice interrupted. Oh, look at you two gazing into each other's eyes. Did you really give him a good morning kiss? What? Huh? No one but Gyobu would joke like that. I did not. I'm not you, Gyobu. And then Dawson's like, whoa, Gyobu gives me kisses in the morning. Huh? I wouldn't kiss someone without permission. I'm a gentleman. Ah! Gonna kind of call minor bullshit on that. Ow. Oh. Sina, if you have to be in a romance drama with Gyobu, you should run as fast as you can. But for a drama, I practically have permission. So it wouldn't be my fault. Even if someone were, even if something more than a kiss were to happen, it can't be helped. Whoa, what kind of other world stream were, I mean, fine, you gotta stab people, but like, we ain't doing that kind of, we're not doing porn here, Jesus. You're the worst. You sure are the worst. And yet we romanced him like five minutes ago. He kind of is the worst, but in a very entertaining way, and I don't mind him, you know what I mean? Like, they make him... Like, the things he says are, you're like, you are so problematic, but you do it in such a way that I just, it doesn't bother me. There's other characters like, no, everything about this rubs me the wrong way. But you're like, nah, Yobu, like, you are so, so problematic. But, bro, I don't know why it's, I don't want to say it's charming. Because it's not, but it's like, it's almost funny. Shouldn't be, but I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Oh, look at you two being such a good team. Oh, speaking of which, where's Haiji? Didn't you say you were going to get him? Oh, about that. He told me to go ahead because he had something to do. I don't know what it is, though. That sounds sus as fuck. I see. So let's play the game. Let's play the game first. Let's see. What's good? After saying that, Gyobu started to go through his own things. Unfortunately, it's time for a drama. What? Oh, it's with Dazai and me this time. Oh, is that hand-holding? Stream status. Drama starts in three minutes. Stream content. For my love to you. With this... Oh, for my love to you with the Supreme Dolce episode 10. Jesus Christ, that's a long title. That is the first time the title has been two lines. Genre of romance drama. Woohoo! Cast Har Haruto, Mei Dazai, Ichiru, Michiru. Yeah, Spacey Sena. And it's a romance drama to boot. Are there any kissing scenes? God, I hope so. Hell no. Why do you have high hopes for that? Nay, you're scared to even hold hands, so I was hoping for this hot and heavy romantic makeout scene. You were watching us, weren't you? Setting aside the two playing around, I read through the script. There weren't any kissing scenes or any scenes that Gyobu would want, but it's still kind of embarrassing. I have a feel again, you know how they always parallel like Yobu and Haiji, that argument. It's kind of paralleling shit that's happening. So there's going to be something in this that's not, I don't think, going to parallel our budding relationship could parallel the relationship we had before we forgot him. Not necessarily romantic, but there's going to be something like, I never forgot how we used to be friends. You know what I mean? It's going to be something like that where you're like, ooh, so keep an eye out, kids. Or an ear out, if you're multitasking. Anyway. While I was thinking that, the scenery around me changed. Oh, 
that's been a while since I've been here. Now, as I said that, when we were teleported to the living room, I kind of just like him in this hoodie. Like, I mean, listen. T-shirts, jeans, hoodies, jeans. Basic. Khaki. Basic. Like a basic. I like a man with flair. So I like his little cardigan. You know what I mean? But there's a cute hoodie and he looks good in it. So it's okay. Sometimes it's okay. Listen, I'm wearing lounge pants and a actually a hoodie dress myself. It's supposed to be like a hoodie dress, like, but it's bare. Like, it, I have a fat ass, so it like only com it comes down very low and short on me. So I just wear my like sleepy pants that aren't sleepy pants. They don't have pockets, but my hoodie has a po anyway. <laughs> so like, I mean, that's what I lounge around the house in. So I'm not begrudging it, but it's one of those like I like a man with flair. Okay, but that doesn't mean. That a man can't look hot in a hoodie. And Dazai looks kind of hot in this hoodie. And it's actually a nice hoodie. I like the stripes on it. It's got detail. Good job. <laughs> it's better than our plain ass t-shirt over here. Eh. He, he looks better. <laughs> uh, anyway, Dazai said that when we were teleported to the living room. He was probably worried since I didn't say a thing. So he smiled at me. But he looked troubled. Well, he was first place in the fortune telling. But I got bad luck having to do with a romance drama. Maybe it's because I'm in last place. <laughs> I don't want any extreme scenes like kissing or anything. But are you okay with this? What do you mean? Would you be okay even if it's with me? I I'm fine. It's just a drama. It should be nothing. Oh, all right. Well, then let's do this. It's a are you okay even if it's with me? Oh. I mean, like, I mean, I get asking, like, are you o are you gonna be okay because we have to do a romance drama? And that's like, you know, not everyone's comfortable with romance dramas. I'm not comfortable with stabbing people. But I might not be comfortable with a romance drama, depending on who's in it. So I get him asking that, but it is still like the, are you okay, even if it's with me? Yes, I love you. It was Dazai who asked me about it, but he, but he, he looked away. He, <laughs> he, he, he is in there twice, I'm sorry. But he looked away after hearing my answer. Is Dazai okay with this himself? Haruto works at the cake shop as a part-timer, and although he had suggested a new product, unfortunately it was not chosen. He was disappointed. Full-time employment was a ways away, but there was a change in Michiro, too. Now as I was acting depressed as he sat on the sofa, so I sat next to him. I tried to maintain a gentle tone as I read the line. Don't worry. There's always next time. Just study harder and do your research. You always make such delicious sweets. Now, I don't know if Dazai can cook, but I know that this would apply to Obama. Your efforts are showing results. Don't feel down. I know it may be hard right now, but... Oh, I know! It may be hard right now. I mean, that kind of parallels the whole scenario. I'll make that curry that you love so much, Haruto. Let's eat that and cheer up. I headed toward the kitchen, but Dazai grabbed my hand. It was exactly as the script said, but I turned around to see Dazai looking at me with a serious expression, which caused my heart to jump. Haruto? I can't do this. Sit with me a little longer. He pulled at me so I'd sit next to him again. We moved even closer together. I can't do this. I can't do this. Sit with me. Maybe I can't do this. I can't lie to you anymore. I need you to remember me. Instead of feeling down about it, I have to think about what's next. But I just can't. It makes me realize the severity of my shortcomings. Without you, I don't think I could ever face the future again. Okay, is this paralleling it? Instead of feeling down, I have to think about what's next. Because, hi, he was here in the prior stream. Everyone forgot him, including all the people in the prior stream. And then he's with us, and he's like, instead of feeling sad, I have to think about what's next. I'm sad because you don't remember me, but I have to think about what's next. That could be very parallel. The severity of my shortcomings. Without you, I don't think I could face the future again. Were we... Were we flirt? Were we in love? Because if we were, that's a very, like, sad, like, oh, rip my heart out. Even if we weren't, though, it's the, it could very much be the, I kind of had feelings for you, and then you forgot me, and it really hurts, and so, you know what I mean? Like, I'm feeling those stirrings again with you right here. Stop it! Now as I was speaking differently from usual, and we blinked a few times before gazing at each other, he smiled at me, and I realized I had to say my line. That's not true. Everyone experiences times when they feel down. Yeah, you're right. After a long pause, he continued to hold my hand as he looked at my expression. 
It's holding your hand. Okay, and I just want to say, he didn't hesitate to grab your hand and pull you back like he's supposed to, but then he's still holding your hand. And maybe he's supposed to, but he didn't hesitate. He didn't hesitate in the drama. Like, no. I can tell that he's self-conscious. He's wondering if this is really okay. It's really not worth worrying so much over. I couldn't help but smile at him for being so considerate. I tried to signal that it was okay. Thank you. And now as I placed my hand on his cheek, just like the script directed him. I mean, he's going with the dramas because he knows the deal, but he's not hesitating. I kind of find that interesting. I don't think it's interesting in like, oh my god, he's not hesitating. It's shady. I'm like, that's adorable, though. He closed his eyes and made a loving expression. I don't think that's acting. I think it's real. Wow. Seeing it live before my eyes felt completely different from just reading the script. My heart wouldn't stop pounding. I've never seen Dazai make that kind of face. Not that you remember. His expression housed a kind of sadness as he looked away, making me breathless. Sadness because he loves you and he can't tell. Oh, stop it. That's really what's happening, isn't it? If it's not, I'm going to be so disappointed because if that if the twist is we were either in a relationship with Dazai or maybe we were it was a budding kind of thing and we forgot him, blah, 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 whatever. That's going to make it, you're like, oh my god, it hurts so bad, but I'm so happy we got to be with him. And I mean, that is so fucking good. But if it's just, oh, we were classmates and we forgot each other. It, I mean, if it was anything else aside from we forgot him, it wouldn't be like, oh, well, that's not as fun. This makes everything, like, all the little subtle things, like, oh, all the times we romance someone else and he was just pining away. That hurts me more than Tomose being sad that we're in love with other people because Tomose's a bit a dick about it some rounds. You know what I mean? In his own round, he was really good. But like, so you do feel a little bit bad for him because I don't hate Tomose, right? So you're like, I feel a little bad. But also manage your expectations, bro, because we're not in a relationship. You just like me. But if we were in a relationship with Dazai and then we forgot him, that, ugh. But that would explain everything. And if they do something different, I'm like, you had the opportunity right there in front of you. Because you sent us back with Kyobu and you stayed behind because you couldn't see me be in love with somebody else right in front of your face in the real world. Or you knew, possibly if we went back, then all of a sudden all of our memories of you would be back and then we'd be in a really tough position. <gasps> Stop it! Oh, the tragic hero. I love it so much. This better be what's happening. If not, you can use my headcanon because it's so much better. So anyway. The warmth I felt through his hand was comforting. It was kind. Gentle. With you, I can put in the effort again. I thought something was off, but the act continued. Oh, that's so... That's him telling... Like, that might be the exact line, but that is absolutely what he's feeling inside. I'll think about the new product menu again and try to talk to the owner. I'll ask about the things I need to improve on. No matter what the results may be, I think it'll be a learning experience for me. Thanks for encouraging me, Michiru. It's okay. I also... Well, I'll tell you another time. I'll go and make that curry. Sure. After his line, I followed the stage directions and headed to the kitchen to end the scene. What should I do about his hand? As I gripped my hand and I wondered what I should do. Oh, sorry. As I realized it, and then he sounded like he dropped the act and apologized. <laughs> I felt so funny that I laughed before walking away. Oh, but that was cute. We added a little flair to it. The lucky item really was a hand after all. I got to see so many of Dazai's expressions. I feel like he hides. though. Those are his real expressions, but he hides them. It's not acting. I don't think he's that great of an actor. You know what I mean? After the drama, we were welcomed back by Gyobu. Hey, you're back. We're back. Dazai? Huh? Why do you have your back turned to us? He looked away, his hand on his forehead. I wonder what was wrong, and he just mumbled to himself. Well, I got my line wrong. Huh? What's that? Oh, what was that? Aww. 
Look, it's actually like Dazai's face is so angry in this CG, but like Kyobu kind of looks adorable. <laughs> uh, I said I got my line wrong. Shut up. Oh, really? I thought it was mostly correct. Well, it's fine if you didn't notice. Hey, you're kind of red. Even your ears are. You okay? Hey, you sure you're okay? I'm gonna kill you. Oh, uh, look at May here. You're talking like K all of a sudden. I mean, their names rhyme, so... I'm just I think it's because of what you said, Kyobu. I started to feel self-conscious about things. I knew it was part of the drama, but Dazai was in front of me now. <laughs> look at you two. You're so cute. You are seriously annoying. Stop it. Well, I tried to push Gyobu aside while Gyobu laughed maniacally. They seemed to be arguing with each other, but I caught glimpses of smiles that told me it was all in good fun. Are they always this close? I was lost in thought when... I felt a sharp headache and the scenery around me suddenly changed to something else. The school. It's funny because, like, were they always this... But Gyobu said he never went to school, so it's not like you saw him messing around with Dazai before. You know? Unless Gyobu lied, but you would have... Rem you would have remembered Gyobu. Like, you knew, oh, I've seen a Bonner around before, so... But, I mean, I definitely feel like that's kind of proof that maybe Dazai went to school with you. Huh. I had difficulty breathing as I tried to open my eyes slowly. Huh. It seemed to be fine. It was fine, but something felt wrong. My entire body felt out of place, like it wasn't my own. I was still thinking clearly, but I felt like my entire body was off. What's wrong, Sena? The shock caused me to hunch over, and Dazai rushed over, concerned. Oh, sorry. Fine. You don't look fine. You're so pale. Um, it's okay. I don't feel sick or anything. It's just that I suddenly... I hesitated to tell him. Dazai looked worried for me, so I decided to tell him everything. I suddenly got a headache, and I remembered the school. I guess it doesn't make sense. Sorry. You remembered the school. It's nothing. Please forget about it. No. Well, let's try to think about it once more. He's like, you remembered school. Yeah, it's not like, you know. I think you should be able to... What? What's going on here? Yobu had been listening in and interrupted when he thought something was wrong. We already know we forgot Dazai. So, you know what I mean? Like, Dazai, know, like, I want you to remember. Yobu was always perceptive in times like those. Oh. Why so quiet? Am I getting in the way? Now I'm interested. I didn't say you were in the way. Sena, are you okay now? Yeah. Oh, you remembered about the school. How about we pay a visit? Paid a visit for the first time in a while. Huh? But we can't leave this place. You can just ask for help. Someone can watch us too. You just have to show that we aren't doing anything weird. But we've been stuck here this entire time. It would hurt to get out once in a while. Hey, can you try asking someone for that? Sure, but don't expect much from me, okay? Sure. If it doesn't happen, that's fine too. Is there a problem? Oh. Things were getting awkward, and then I heard footsteps approaching. IG had returned. Oh, this fucker. Hey, IG. She's like, hey, IG, and I'm like, oh, this bitch. I dislike IG more as we go. <laughs> I really do. I haven't really, I mean, okay, I, I have a feeling that the route's gonna be really interesting, and I'm kind of curious about how fucked up he is, but like, I still don't like him, you know what I mean? I might be like, no, the row is good, though. Like, the evil character is great. But I still don't particularly like him, you know what I mean? Back. Your leg! You're covered in mud! Where were you? Oh, right. Did that get there? Hey, don't come in here like that. You'll get everything dirty. Let's wash your shoes. Let's wash your shoes outside first. Um, either that or... What not new clothes is probably faster when you're that dirty. Do you sure love to take care of him? Yoba looked a little baffled as he watched Dazai and me run over to Haiji. Yeah, he's like, you know he's not 12, right? <laughs> like, we asked Watcher to clean Haiji's shoes immediately. The floor was also cleaned up. 
That night, I waited for everyone to return to their rooms before going into the kitchen to cook something. I can say that I'm taking them lunch, but maybe that excuse is pushing it. Sounds like Yobu and Haiji seem to be getting along better than ever. They even seem to be friendlier toward me, and Dazai seemed to answer anything I asked him. However, I couldn't find anything in particular that hinted toward any of them being the producer. I was beginning to have mixed feelings about being with them just to figure that out. But that wasn't my only intention. I'd always wanted to be closer to everyone. <laughs> everyone being Dazai. She, every, I'd always wanted to be closer to uh, ev everyone. Everyone. I wasn't going to say Dazai. I was going to say everyone. If I became friends and listened to them, I'd likely hear about the producer eventually. That was intrinsically that wasn't intrinsically wrong. To believe or not to believe, that is the question. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do, but this is definitely I was still thinking about it when I heard the food popping, so I flipped it with my wooden spatula. Oh no, it's gonna burn. While I was cooking, someone came down the stairs and watched what I was doing. What are you doing up at this hour? Oh, Akase. He seemed curious as he walked over and looked into the frying pan. Stir fry, omelets, fried chicken. What's this? Is it for a lunchbox? I was simply curious about it, but I confessed like I was confessing to a crime. It is. I was only thinking of taking a lunchbox to the people in quarantine. They see. I thought that he'd scold or lecture me. However, he didn't do anything like that. Because here's the thing, if he's like, you keep seeing them, it's like, yeah, but I figured if we, if someone stays close to them and talks to them, they might open up and maybe I can learn something. And I'm pretty innocuous. Like, if you go, they're not going to trust you. But if I go, they might trust me and open up. You know what I'm saying? So, girl's got to think of this shit. I can't say simply nodded quietly. Is that it? Then he sounded serious. Do you... Do you still believe in those three? I suspect them, but I want to be sure that my suspicions are correct. I turned the stove off to suspend the cooking as I turned toward Akase. I really do want to believe, but it's becoming more difficult. I don't know anymore. Suspecting them might help me believe in them. Once I've figured it out myself, I can start believing in them again. It might hurt them to know that I suspected them, but it's better than having blind faith. I want to talk to them properly and then understand what kind of people they are. That's all I can think of right now. And you're bringing them lunchbox over just so you can talk to those three? Yeah. I do feel a bit guilty because what I'm doing goes against what everyone else is thinking. No, there's no need for all of us to think the same thing. Just suspect so that you can believe. Because I seemed to smile a little and then he plucked the omelet that I was making. Sometimes I have a one-track mind. It can only move in one direction. I tend to get yelled at for it and have to reflect on my mistakes. But I can't change. I think that I'm seeing the bigger picture, but I actually don't. I just have tunnel vision. It's unfortunate when you think you've been betrayed. For me, it's impossible to forgive a traitor of what feel I was once close to. Either I believe in someone or I suspect him. Never both. And that's how I cornered Dazai. It was bad because I thought of him as a friend. I can't do what you're doing right now. Dazai sounded sad as if he were reminiscing some past event. But that's, here's the thing, like, I understand, like, I can't trust him because I suspect him now. Fine. But once you realize that you were wrong, you shouldn't hold that against Daza, you know what I mean? Regretting it won't help us make progress. We'll simply do what I can, so you go your own way. Do what you can. I won't get in your way. There are things that I can't budge on, but everything else is fine. Then, it's okay for me to go and hand them this lunchbox? Yeah, it's my turn to be on lookout for him, so let's go together. Oh, and is it okay for me to take Dazai and Gyobo to the school? You suddenly made things way more complicated. Sorry, but we were talking about wanting to go to the school. School? Is there a point to that? I don't know, but there was something on my mind. If he asked me about it, I wouldn't know how to answer. I wanted to know why I was thinking about the school and why I felt like something was off. Probably has something to do with the school. I would just say, I don't know. I had this weird flashback memory... And Gyobu suggested we go to the school and hey, we can have Watcher or somebody else come with us to maintain the order, you know what I mean? I didn't know how to describe it, so I looked down. Then Akase gently patted me on the head. Plus, here's the thing. You could be like, here's the thing. You can have somebody else come with us. Watcher can monitor and whatever if you're worried. But if one of them bolts, I think that's a pretty much a submission of, that's an admission of guilt right there. You know what I mean? Like, ah, I'm guilty, run. You know what I mean? I don't think we have to worry about that, and it's not like there's any place they can really run to. 
We'll find him eventually here. All right. But you all be under surveillance. Only it does I need to... Does and Kyobu need to go, right? Yes. Thank you so much, Akase. I feel like I'm too easy on you. Actually, I know full well that I am. He raised the hand that he was patting my head with and took a drink before returning to his room. Well, I don't stay up too late. Thanks for that omelet. Good night. He was acting just like his usual self, and I felt more at ease. Great. I have his permission now. I was also glad to hear what Akase was really thinking. It was a happy accident, so to speak. He regrets it. He wanted to believe in Dazai, so it hurt him to think he was betrayed. That's why he said what he said. That's just Akase's personality. But if he still regrets it, I thought about what it meant for me to be doing what I was doing. Everyone's different, after all. I'll do things my own way. We stood in front of the school gates. Akase stood alone while Dazai Kyobu and I went our separate way. Are you sure about this? You know, setting us free like this? You're not free. I need you to come back here a little past noon. You can just come with us, you know. There isn't much to do with the school, and you can take talk more freely with me out of the picture. Now get going. Thank you. Oh, here's your lunchbox. I handed over a lunchbox that I prepared for Akase separately. He responded with a big smile. Thanks. I'll eat this while I wait. Huh? A lunchbox? Lucky him. I've made one for both of you, too. Three of us headed for the entrance, but Dazai stopped midway. I'll say... Hmm? Sorry. Apology was so quiet that her footsteps almost drowned it out. Aww. In the hallway, Gilbo was the first to speak. Do you regret it? Regret what? Betraying Kyoya? I think a betrayal is wrong. Oh, really? Then what do I call it? You don't have to worry about it, Dazai. I spoke up, following behind Dazai as he quietly led the way. Dazai's voice echoed in the hallway. That's fine. Either way, I wasn't able to answer him. The footsteps kept echoing in the hallway. Yobo had asked his awful question and didn't say much more after that. Neither Dazai nor I spoke, so the hallway remained quiet. This quiet school felt like any other school during summer vacation. You're finishing everything I need to do here. Does school feel like this when I return home? How would things feel as I spoke to everyone? How would I remember all the things that happened here? How would I... How would I remember everyone? Like how we got to this. How would I remember everyone? Why not? The lifeless hallway didn't elicit any particular emotion when we finally arrived at the classroom. We're, oh my god, are we going to have a flashback memory of the person who sits at that desk? My classroom should be right around here. School in Arcadia resembled Geke High School, so I guided both of them. They were the ones you asked to visit it. Oh, so this is your classroom. Well, it's not the same exact school, though. But they look identical, right? If they do, you can just say it's the same thing. I have no idea why they look the same, though. In this town, there are lots of places that resemble where we lived. At first, I just assumed that all towns were like that. But now it feels strange. It looks so similar. It feels like a dream. Maybe it really was just a dream. Our meeting here is nothing but a dream. And wouldn't that be romantic? Okay, could you get out of this? It's an A-B relationship. I'm going to need you to see your way out. Jesus. Why are you holding her hand? Oh, May, don't interrupt me. Lena, you said you brought a lunchbox, right? How about we just eat here? He's like, how about we just eat here? I'm going to go sit in this desk by the corner. Oh, it's the one that's always empty but happens to be right next to yours, and then you're going to get a memory of us eating lunch together? Sh sure, let's do that. Why do you ignore me whenever it's inconvenient? That's not very nice of you. Don't worry, I'd ignore you even if it wasn't. Or even if it was, sorry. No sympathy for others, I see. I don't want to hear that from you. I have a wet towel, so you can wipe your hands before eating. Thanks. They both said that. But, oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. They both responded at the exact same time and placed the lunchboxes on the table. We were eating in, were eating in kind of a potluck style. These two... I thought Dazai and Gyobu were on the same wavelength, but they suddenly act hostile. 
Yobu usually antagonizes Dazai, I think. i never seen Dazai suspect anyone else. However, he never defended anyone either. He was normally neutral and calm about things. Yobu was the exact opposite. He tried to instigate suspicion onto everyone, and he changed his opinion all the time. I was sure that he was just as calm as Dazai, but I couldn't understand all the games he played. Yobu's harder to figure out. Maybe he's hiding some secret. So, do you remember anything? Huh? It was so sudden I was caught off guard. However, I shouldn't have been lost in thought. We went to the school to help me remember. Nothing in particular. I was just thinking about a similar look to my school. Murder. Too bad for you, May. But it's weird. Like, Gyobu knows something. But Gyobu doesn't remember that he forgot Dazai. So, like... But it was also kind of similar when Dazai's like, I want you to remember, and Gyobu's around, and then Gyobu's like, yeah, me too. As I reached for the food, and the face he made was mixed with emotions, I followed suit. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he's that person who sat in that seat. You know what I mean? That empty seat. No, it's always been empty. No. No, it wasn't. Dazai used to be there. Oh said you'd remember your school all of a sudden, so I thought there'd be something here. But what was the point of all this then? Yobu was just as conflicted. We ate the rice balls and dishes that I prepared. Stir fry, omelets, fried chicken, salad, tomatoes. That's a lot of fucking shit. Hey, don't be so harsh. Lena isn't at fault here. And try to remember to try remembering what I said. Does this remind you of anything? No. Do I have to get close to you like this? Yobu leaned over from his seat, got closer, causing Dazai to frown, obviously. Well, there's absolutely no need for you to get so close. Oh, hold on. Isn't that rice ball mine? Hey, isn't yours on the right side? Huh? Oh, you're right. Oh, well, it's all the same. There's more anyway. Isn't yours on the right? He can't... Like, what, the right? The way she portioned things out means something. Just don't understand how maidens think. Maidens? Who are you talking about? Me, of course. It's easy to tell what May's feeling just by looking at his face at times like these. So what does any of this have to do with school? Is it because we're from the same school? I interrupted their conversation, but I had to ask since I've been thinking about it all this time. Beats me. You think. Can I get a hint? Take a guess, but that's how maidens think. You're a girl, so you understand, right? Not all girls think like maidens. <laughs> Seeing you sulk like that makes you all the cuter. Thanks for the food. While well, Gyobu and I were talking, Dazai finished eating and wiped his hands. Oh, are you done? Let me finish my portions. I'm gonna eat more if you have leftovers. That was delicious. Oh, you're very welcome. Oh, we should at least take the opportunity to relax and have a chat over food. Hey, you're so hasty. I don't have much in particular to talk about. Paused a moment before continuing. I can't talk like you. You're good at negotiating behind the scenes, and you're intelligent too. Huh? That... Uh, you're complimenting me all of a sudden? Are you gonna knock me down a peg next? The more you talk, the more you dig your own grave. I'm different from you in that regard. Oh, and what kind of grave is that? The more you talk, the more people understand how you feel. You're embarrassed, so you hide in a hole. Uh, what? Do you have some strategy meeting in that hole? Humans all have a secret persona they don't show. It's possible since you're always hiding away. I really like saying these things, huh? Going on and on in roundabout ways. As I stood up before the rest of us and put his chair back. I'll search the other classrooms while we're here. Sure. He left the two of us there still eating. He mentioned other classrooms, but every classroom should have been the same. Here's the thing. It's weird that, like, he's leaving us with Gyobu. Gyobu's creepy. I like Gyobu, don't get me wrong, but he's kind of a creep. <laughs> like, <clears throat> so which one do you like? The kind that blabs on and on, or the quiet kind who doesn't say anything important? <clears throat> Sorry. If those are my options, I can only say neither. I thought so. Yobu's shoulders shook with hearty laughter as he finished the rest of his lunch. These two truly are opposites. Alright. 
I don't know how long this scene's going to go on now that we've switched. So I know we're a little under time, but I'm going to stop here. So anyway, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Thank you.